and and welcome you to the world because I know it's a scary place and um for me the scariest part was definitely the fact that I was told to do a lot of things that I knew how to do in theory but I didn't know in specifically like I was always told like yeah plan a campaign it would be like yeah we'll send them an email newsletter and all that but I was never like taught how to write an entire email sequence and um you know write against different voice tones for every single one of them it was like super specific and I feel like throughout the six months that I've worked I've become kind of like a word surgeon and do you feel like that too do you feel like you know pharma still has a lot like I know that pharma is very surgical as well like you have to edit out you have to be super legal about it you have to be like super detailed there's a lot of uh people that get their eyes on your lines and all that how is the experience of it so many eyes on my work and i thought i could handle a critique going to scan you know our critique yeah. process in school is really rigorous and you know they get straight to the point but wow ooh, it, it cuts to the bone in uh advertising work your ego really takes a couple of hits yeah <laughs> Yeah, you, there are the editors just straight up editors looking at your work i've got a legal team looking at my work i've got my senior copywriter i have my cm sometimes i have my ecd and then i yeah. have my project manager and then all of a sudden there's people from different departments commenting on my pdf and i'm like if one more person comments is of versus <laughs> an one more time i'm gonna lose it <laughs> yeah yeah so have you faced that have you faced um people that shouldn't be touching your copy, fucking around with your stuff on Google Doc, like not fucking around, leaving like comments, sometimes saying the same shit as the comment above, like account and strategy will put two things that say the exact same thing and then legal would say the same shit, but in different words. Be like, dude, guys, no? No, You haven't seen that? No, because we have a very, like we have a process where each team like reads all the notes beforehand and then leaves their own. Okay, that's good. It's a very good process. But no, it's just like some people will kind of overstep their boundaries and they'll make content edits. And I'm like, but you don't know the content. You don't know what I'm trying to do here. Like they'll say like, yeah. you need to take this out. I'm like, that's literally on my email matrix. That says what I, that's what I need to write about, bud. I'm yeah. sorry. And I'll just run to my uh, coffee supervisor and I'll be like, they're being mean again. And she's like, just set it. Just <laughs> ignore it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. So you've worked in both a normal advertising agency and a pharma agency, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I know that maybe you haven't had like a whole year of exposure to both or whatever, but what are the main differences that you've found so far? With pharma, it's definitely very rigorous. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of guidelines. You're talking with a lot more people, but at least I click they really strive to be creative. They're like, how can we creatively send an email about this product? How can we just, just a little bit, just like turn the knob up just one. Like they find subtle ways to be creative with these things. And sometimes it gets a little crazy. Like we'll try to come up with different types of systems where what's the best way to send out these emails and match these to these different people. It gets a little out of hand sometimes, but it's only because we're so passionate about helping people. And that's really nice to see. I was afraid that pharma wouldn't be as creative. And in the creative uh, agency that I was in, it was a lot more free flow. It was, let's work over here for a bit. And now we're over here. And uh, hey, bring me three concepts, just like whatever, no budget. Like, give me just three ideas and let's see what where we hmm. can take it. A lot more yeah. go with the flow. Let's see what feels good. Let's see what sticks. That's crazy. And for me, the six months that I spent were definitely um, novel. And I don't have the pharma versus normal ad agency experience, but I do have internship versus junior uh, transition. And it's scary. It's like, you know, when you go to visit like university, I went to SCAD summer summer camp uh, for five weeks and I came for the first year and you're like, holy shit, this is not the same thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, but that jump time stand from the internship to my entry level, because in the internship, you were placed in a position where everyone knew that you're going to screw up because you're an intern. <laughs> so from then on, I said so many, I said, like, you start with a low expectation bar. And from then on, you just don't have to fuck it up. You just have to, like, 
be a good intern, do whatever they tell you in a bit more, and you're going to be the star. Well, when you're in an entry-level position, you're there to solve fucking problems. I got hired in the middle of a pandemic. They're like, they needed me to solve problems that nobody else wanted to do, like the, the most boring stuff. And then I worked my way up, and then I started to do bigger campaigns, and then I ended up working on a huge campaign. So I definitely saw that growth. But for me, I had to tell you that the first thing that scared me was the amount of things that I didn't know how to do. Like, no one has ever told me, not how to do, but the process of it. Like, they're like, here, write an email. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> how many words uh, was the structure? And as I was asking those questions, I was like, shit, I should know this. And so I forced myself to take like many other courses and learn all this stuff. Um, but what was the one thing that you were so, like, I, I was literally scared. I, I, I've never faced that. I was scared of the that I didn't know. And I had to understand that, hey, it's okay not to know some stuff. But what was your um, big scare? But, you know, if you didn't have one, that's okay too. <laughs> no, absolutely. And my scare literally came last week where I was writing all these emails. And I'm like, God, it just feels like I forgot how to write. <laughs> yeah. And it was because I had all these different you know, creative voices in my head being like legal being don't you can't do this and these guidelines all of a sudden cut with everything that I wanted to say in half. And it yeah, does it fuck with your creativity? Oh, yeah, it like it fucks with your creativity to be like so restricted, right? Oh, yeah, it really threw me off for that first week where I was writing emails all by myself. I didn't didn't know what to do. I was just staring at the screen. I was like, I forget what the email was. It was something really easy. Like, um, it was like a savings card promo. That's all it was. Right. It was like, it was an extra insurance cost off. So the, dr the, the drug I'm working for would be like a lesser cost. That's all it was. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to say this with like all these guidelines that I have to listen to and all these things that I don't know and all the lingo that they're throwing at me. And what threw me off was, um, my project manager it, like threw together this matrix to basically tell me, okay, here's each topic. But they wrote the CTA kind of ahead of time and the topics in detail. Yeah. And it really threw me off having someone just kind of pre-write everything for me. So that first batch of uh, critiques sucked. It really sucked because they're like, what wow. the heck? This isn't writing. And I was like, I'm sorry. Someone pre-wrote them and I, I, I broke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that the number one thing you learn, um, and I think that you touched on something interesting, you learn that other that you're going to have to deal with other people's mistakes affecting you and you not be able to do shit about it as a junior. Like the amount of times that you're going to get into shit or you did a mistake because of somebody else's mistake and you're just going to have to swallow it. The amount of times that that happened to me and I just, either the someone that was senior above me or account or somebody told me the wrong thing or fucking strategy wrote a line in the brief that then they told me uh to use and then at the end when i used it they said hey um this is not on brand and i'm like hey uh you literally put it in the fucking brief so <laughs> i didn't say that you know i'm like oh but i'm you're sorry thinking it. you're like yeah you, you told me to do it like what, you, yeah. what do you want this is the thing you learn how to switch that mentality from okay, <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is we need to get this done. So I'll be like, okay, and I'll go and I'll like, it's literally select, delete. Like that's so much easier than telling them, hey, you idiot, you put it in a fucking brief twice. So I, that's why I wrote it. You know, don't, don't point fingers at me every single time something goes wrong because you didn't know how to write a brief, you know? So yeah, I think I learned that like, hey, uh, I'm going to have to swallow people's shit for a bit and not, not have to say anything about it. Yeah. Do you like the structure that the job gives you? Like, do you like the fact that you know...